Hi all, it's Jarrett from thetouringcamper.com and we're going to be working on a project this afternoon. I've been wanting to get a flagpole for in front of the camper so uh, there's some options out there that cost a good bit of money but I'm going to show you an option that I've created here. Uh, we're going to create for you. I'm going to do a hyperlapse of it. It's going to probably cost me right around $25 to $30 and the majority of that cost is in some of the hardware. I'll put the list of that hardware. Um, some of those pieces of hardware are probably actually the most important, expensive portions of this whole thing. Um, the, the tube that you see behind me is a 10 foot long, one and a half inch PVC, and I also have a two inch PVC over here that you'll see. So I'm going to use those as we uh, get started here. I'll put it at the camera into hyperlapse and you can watch me work. So thanks for watching. It's Jared from the Drawing Camera. It's Jarrett back from the Touring Camper, and as you can see in that quick hyperlapse, it only took me about 30 minutes to do this. We'll see how well it holds up in some wind and, and over time. But I wanted to show you some of the components of putting up this flagpole, so I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a walkthrough of it. Okay, so and we're back, and I'll come in here close. So what I basically did is I took a 2-inch PVC pipe that was about 2.5 feet long, and I took dryer clamps, and these are something that I've been liking to use a good bit on camper projects. So these are actually dryer vent clamps, and you can see that I've got two dryer vent camps in there, clamps in there. And then I've got just a one and a half inch PVC piping going up to the flag, and you can see up there at the joint, if we can see, I may have to take it down for you guys to see that. But up at the joint is where I, I had to join it so that it would fit in this underneath compartment. Um, so we'll take it down here in a minute and I'll show you that. Right here you can see I put an extra clamp in there uh, uh, just to make sure that it stays in place. So I'll take it down and I'll show you that joint. All right, so we're going to try to get uh, Dash here. He's actually behind the camera. So this is my six-year-old running the camera. We're going to see how this works. So I'm going to take it down for you. And once I bring this down, the dash can come in here a little closer and put the camera right on this, buddy, okay? So you see I've got to back up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you can see right here I've got another one of those clamps. And this one just pulls out. And I've got two collar sleeves here to try to support this joint. So that's what's supporting the joint. And then down here I just drilled some simple holes and put some carabiners on it to hold the flag in place. Um, so that's pretty much simple. I put a cap up on the top of it to give it some, uh, so water's not going down in it. But there we go. There you have it.